Hey YouTube, it's Dante from MadeOrderPCs.com and today I have the Acer Aspire 1 10.1 inch netbook back and I'm going to do the uh, kind of the one month later review. Uh, this review is going to be about what I think about the netbook one month after I bought it, or month and a half actually, but one month sounds better, so we're going to call it that. Um, I'm actually doing this because of some guy on YouTube who has the screen name of um, Crazy Man. One two three. He contacted me and had some questions about the netbook he was buying that was similar to this. And he just had some, you know, he wanted to know some pros and cons. And I know I did not address that in my last last one, but this one I'm going to talk about it. So the setup he was going to buy had the uh, one gigabyte of RAM, one sixty gigabyte hard drive, one point six gigahertz. Uh, Intel Atom processor and then of course a 10.1 inch screen um, which is exactly what you have in front of you right here um, so crazy man um, I have that's exactly what I reviewed in the first video what I have done since that first video is I upgraded the RAM I doubled it to put I got two gigs in here instead of the uh, one gigabyte it came with and that sped it up like nothing I mean like now it's just it it it's really really fast. I, I actually put Photoshop CS4 on this netbook which is something that is not recommended and it runs fine like it starts up in about 15 10 to 15 seconds Photoshop which is amazing if you have Photoshop CS4 you know and you know, on a kind of a crappy computer you know how long it takes to start up on my other computer my uh, quad core 8 gigabyte behemoth computer that I have it takes about five seconds just to give you a little comparison on how quickly it boots up so computer still is very fast and the 160 gigabyte hard drive is plenty big for a netbook you gotta keep that in mind um, so I wanted to go over some pros and cons like he asked me and so some of the cons I just wanna let you guys know I bought this at Costco so they bundled in a two-year warranty and a six cell battery if I was a consumer, I, I got it at Costco for one reason, the uh, six cell battery. If I was a consumer, I would not settle for anything but six cells. Um, the difference between the three and six cell battery is, as you can see here, the six cell sticks out a little bit because there's an extra three cells in there. Normally it just goes flush right here with the computer, but this has the uh, more batteries in it. so it gives you more than double the battery life which is great uh, that's the point of a netbook to get really long battery life um, so definitely go with the six cell battery um, if you can't get it from the distributor or wherever you're buying it from you might want to get it somewhere else because six cell is definitely a necessity or else you get around two and a half to three hours of battery life from what I read online about the uh, three cell battery um, another kind of thing to watch out for is this mouse trackpad thing right here. It looks great, but it's kind of eh, weird to use it, until you get used to it. I'm kind of just getting used to it now after a month and a half of constant use. So, I don't know. Um, you need to try it out for yourself at the store and um, or if they don't have a demo model, just buy it, try it out, and then return it if it doesn't work for you. Um, you should be able to get accustomed to it eventually. It's just kind of awkward. I'm left-handed, like I said, so I like having the buttons on the bottom compared to the ones on the side. And uh, these used to be really stiff, and they've loosened up with use, which is good, because now they're kind of where they should be. But it's still kind of awkward to have the, f the fingers like this. Normally on a bigger laptop, you have bu bigger buttons, bigger trackpads, so there's more room for your hand and where you want to put it, which I like to have. So you know get used to that or it get expect to get used to it um, and the keyboard is still awesome I love it I just feel like I could type like a million words per minute on it another con that I found is this little baby right here that would be the webcam it is only 0.3 megapixel which is like crap it takes like maybe wallet sized pictures okay but anything bigger than that it's gonna look bad and it's not I mean you you could it's good for video chatting and there's nothing that really matters and it doesn't have a microphone which is pretty good so that's really all that matters in a video chat you don't really need to see the other person per se it's just kinda like just kinda cool to see 
I mean, you don't need to see extreme detail, I should say. But, um, yeah, if you don't need an extremely nice webcam, or if you don't mind losing out on a really nice webcam for a netbook, then you'll be fine with it. Um, okay, let's go to the pros now, because that's really what you want to hear. Um, okay, so again, hardware-wise, and for the price, this just blows, it's just ridiculous, it's awesome. It it's outperforms almost every netbook of its class, um, based on what I've read and what I've found out with personal experience. It's just so fast, and with that extra gigabyte of RAM to get the two gigabytes of RAM, it's just, it's just, yeah. It's like a regular laptop or desktop, depending on what you have. It's, it's really nice. Um, I have actually the hard drive out. Uh, this is another one. This one still works. This is just what they put on there. Hitachi drives, SATA for you get for you techie guys. So you can plug this into a regular full size desktop computer if you want to drag off um, important files or anything. It does come out re come out really easily. And this is what they have to hide inside this small little device. This actually sits right about there, upside down like that, on right below the keyboard. Um, but they were able to compact, they were able to fit all these awesome high-tech things in this really small package. Um, one other thing I forgot to mention, forgot to mention, pardon me, about this the first time, the first video, is its charging adapter. It is like the netbook in the sense that it's very small. That is it. That's all there is. Um, compare that to uh, another Acer laptop. Uh, which, has, which has a charging brick a little bit bigger as you can see the size difference there um, they are the exact same thickness but it is a lot smaller as you can see and generates less heat um, this is a I think this is a 65 or 70 watt let me read should have done my research before I started the camera this is a 65 watt this is a 45 watt I believe yeah, I have charged my laptop with this one, which is, this is designed for the netbook, and I've charged my netbook with this, which is designed for the laptop, because they are the same wattage and amperage. This one just is able to put out more watts, which, yeah, it's cool. So, other than that, um, let's talk about this top part here, which I don't really like too much, since it was really nice and glossy when I first bought it, and as you can see now in the glare of that light right over there, you got fingerprints galore, and if you take your sleeve and you, you know, do this for like an hour, it just kind of streaks it. It makes it even worse. You need to get Windex to take that off, which I do not like at all. Um, it doesn't really matter. Like, okay, look, you can just, right, and you got, you could even, hold on, I'll hold it. It's not good. Yeah, so you need to get Windex, but if you really don't care about the looks, because this is normally just getting thrown in and out of a backpack all the time, it's fine. Um, like really, you know, you could kind of just buff it away, but whatever. That's what you have to know, is this gets dirty easily. It has to be cleaned with Windex. On the inside here, the screen, same deal, Windex, and also the bezel, same material, Windex that. And even down here, I have something right here, and it's not coming off, so I need to, oh, just use some saliva, that worked. Um, but pretty much the thing needs to be cleaned with Windex. Oh, hey, you can see me. Um, what else? What else? I guess that would be it. Um, if you have any more questions... Oh, hey, this might be important for you guys that want to upgrade the memory to 2 gigs. These come with 1 gig, but I will be providing a link in the show notes where you could... Pr or you Actually, no, you just go to... Give me a call. I will put my uh, contact information in the show notes and ask me where to get the memory and I will um, sell you some memory from madeorderpcs.com and we do sell parts for computers so if you do want that one part for the Acer Aspire 1 the 2 gigabyte chip we will sell those to you and we will also provide you with tech with phone tech support if you want to call us up to help install we'll do a video to show you how to install it and we will also even do live webcam support if you want to uh, show us what you're doing and I can comment on what's going on so um, just give me a call or not, send me an email actually I don't want to put my phone number out for you guys to see but send me an email and um, or give me a call actually I will put my phone number what the heck right 
uh, give me a call or an email, and I will get you that those two gigs of RAM. So thank you very much. This is Dante with MadeOrderPCs.com. Good luck with your net with your netbook hunting.